And brand new video just into our newsroom now. Those are 40 mile per hour wind gusts sweeping through Kill Devil Hills. We hope to show you here. We're still feeling some effects here in Hampton Roads. So here's meteorologist Tim Pandages with uh, more on the uh, gloomy weather for all parts of Hampton Roads because of the storm. That's right. Maria is just about 150 miles to our east. The closest it'll be before it starts moving east and offshore. But it's bringing gusty winds. You know, we have overwash down in NC 12. Yeah. Tidal flooding going to be a problem this morning's high tide and this afternoon. And also a few showers thrown in the mix there as well as on top of the uh, coastal erosion we're already seeing. There's satellite imagery. A lot of the strongest side of the storm off to the east. You see the brighter cloud tops there. That's where all the thunderstorm activity is. We're just really left with some remnant showers and some gusty winds on the western side of the storm. Right now about 145 miles east of Cape Hatteras. Wind still at 70 miles per hour sustained. So below her hurricane force, but it's still a strong gray tropical storm moves north for about the next 8 to 12 hours before it takes a hard right hand turn off to the east. That's thanks to an incoming cold front that's going to deliver some of the coolest air we've seen in quite some time struggling to make it to 70 by this upcoming weekend. We were looking at radar earlier that had a few showers, but They've really fallen apart. You see that band in the first few frames here that moved through Southside Chesapeake and in North Carolina. It's fizzled. So right now, maybe a few areas of drizzle under the radar beam, but that's about it. We'll see a few showers at times today, but this is mostly a wind and tidal flooding event for us. Those winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour along the coast, and then that tidal flooding, as I mentioned, this morning's high tide, and again this afternoon running well above average. Minor to moderate levels there with some flooding, and that coastal erosion will be the longest lasting uh, kind of impact that we see right on into the day on Friday, long after Maria departs, those rough seas will continue. The winds out there today, you see the center of Maria moving off to the north and then off to the east away from the coastline there. But up until that point, winds up to 50 miles per hour along immediate coastal spots. Farther inland, we'll see those gusts up to 30 to 35. So still quite a blustery day for everybody here in Hampton Roads. If you're near the water, well, tide's going to be well above average as well down to Duck Pier in North Carolina. 6.2 feet over the moderate to near uh, major flood stage there for this afternoon's high tide, not only at Duck, but really throughout the entire Outer Banks and even pushing northwards into Virginia. Sewell's Point, we'll see those numbers climbing above normal up to around 4.1 by early tomorrow morning. But this afternoon's high tide looking to be the highest, uh, just under five feet, which is minor flood stage for you. 76 degrees out the door this morning, but that dew point right behind it. So it's very, very muggy out there despite our winds coming in out of the north, which is normally a pretty dry and cool flow for us. Not the case this morning. We're seeing those wind gusts up to around 30 miles per hour recently in Fentress, uh, farther south, slightly higher, 33 recently in Manio, 31 in Kurtuck, and they're going to get a little bit stronger throughout, throughout the day today. Here's how it looks on Futurecast. A lot of clouds today, windy conditions, and an isolated shower too will top out around 80, but tonight those clouds move east as well as Maria, and we'll start to see skies clear on out. Tomorrow, more of a northwesterly flow, so the humidity should be mostly out of here, but still a warm day up to around 80. It's not until Thursday night into Friday we really start to feel the push of that much cooler air building on in 80 degrees today cloudy and windy with isolated showers tonight down to around 71 mostly cloudy still and breezy those clouds parting tomorrow and leading to a really nice weekend temperatures right around 70 mostly sunny and cool and even on the other side of the weekend quite nice Monday and Tuesday low 70s. All right.